Hello, Olá, my amigos. friends. Deus God bless you all. The greatest blessing that God has been giving us is the understanding of His word, of His voice. You who take part on this life now at this moment know that when the person understands the word of God then their faith has foundation their faith has a structure their faith is solid is robust because it stops depending on the luck there are people who have faith in luck others have faith on saints, on religions, on churches, on the pastor, bishop. Anyway, people have faith naturally. They have everything that there is in this world. It's the natural faith. But when the person puts their faith in the word of God, the Word of God, the Word of God itself gives foundation, gives strength, gives vigor, gives power that the person may be free from their miseries, from their misfortunes, because it has not just been a few, but many who have faith. Because in the universe of people who have faith, there are those the majority, unfortunately, is frustrated in their faith. Why? Because their faith has been on the altar of Baal. Their faith has been positioned on the altars of Baal. And then it does not work. So, the evangelical has faith, the Catholic has faith, the Buddhist has faith, the Muslim has faith, the Jew has faith. All those who have faith, they have faith. They believe in something, some way or somehow. But the problem is, the problem is that this faith, the natural faith that the person has, carries with them, placed on the altar of Baal or of the gods of wood, metal, of stone, obviously that this faith will not attend to the needs of the faithful or of the fervent one. So that's why you see churches, religions fighting each other, wars because of religions and etc. So you see a huge difference in this world because of the faith. But faith in the word of God is different. It gives a quality of life to those who believe in the word of God. You see, for instance, Jesus faced the devil the devil, the prince of darkness, Satan in person, Jesus faced him using which armor? The faith. Faith in what? Faith in what it's written. When Jesus used the faith on what is written in the word of God, the devil knew that what was written could not be changed. The devil knows that what is written is determined, is promised. The devil knows that once written, and then the person who leaned their faith on the Holy Scriptures, this person then has support from the Word of God itself. Because the Word of God cannot be broken. 
cannot be cancelled, cannot be invalidated. It comes from the mouth of the Almighty One, the Creator of heaven and earth. So I would like you to understand that you have faith. But why your faith has not been attending to your own needs? Because your faith has not been on the altar of God. The altar that Abram raised. Abraham will raise altars to do his sacrifices to the invisible God. But the invisible God who will speak to him, who will promise things to him, who will give to him guarantees with his own word. So the word of God, once determined, does not return void. He himself says that. God says there in Isaiah, the word that comes out of my mouth will not return void. So Jesus faced the devil using the word. You can also face your diseases, your infirmities. You can face your depressions, sadness, agonies, deceptions, love life, deceptions. You can face any evil in this world because Jesus faced the prince of evil. The first one, the one who began evil in this world, the one who started evil in this world, Jesus faced him using only his word. So when the person has an infirmity, try to do that. Try to do that. You can do that in your own home, in the hospital, in prison, whatever is the place, wherever you may be, you take the word of God and says, my Lord, I am sick, I have this infirmity. It is written here that the Lord Jesus carried away our sicknesses and diseases. It is written. So if he carried away our diseases and sicknesses, I don't need to have the sicknesses and diseases because it's written that he carried away our sicknesses and diseases. So I don't accept the sicknesses and diseases. Why? Because it's written, it's determined that Jesus already carried away this curse from my life or in the life of anyone who believes. Of course, all those who believe, those who take possession of this fact, of this reality, the, it is written. Tomorrow we'll be speaking more in regards to this. And also, tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the morning, early in the morning from Friday to Saturday, at 3 o'clock in the morning, we'll be here praying for you. Is that okay? God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.